Hey, 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 happy Sunday, folks. It's your girl Dion here, Realtor Dion with EXP Realty, and I am checking out a duplex in Clarksville, Tennessee today. But before I take you inside, uh, let me just tell you a little bit about um, why a duplex or even a multifamily in general is a great investment. I know there's a lot of people on the internet now. Um, when I guess I see them because it interests me, but I see a lot of people on YouTube and on Facebook and on Instagram preaching you know, buying a multifamily, right? Um, and that's what I decided to do. Just a brief synopsis. I know a lot of you've already heard me say this before, but I can't stress it, stress it enough. Um, I bought a little townhouse, was my first house, stayed there for 13 years because I had to, because of the crash. I had negative equity. So as soon as we got out of that crash and I became an agent and realized how much equity I had, I decided to sell. But I didn't, uh, since I was single and my son was going away to college, I said, well, okay, I don't have a partner to help me with these bills. Why don't I just get a duplex and what they call house hack, right? Live on one side, have a tenant in the other. But because um, I was, I, let's be honest, I was broke. <laughs> Even though I was a realtor, I was a part-time realtor and I had two other jobs, uh, I was still barely making enough to make ends meet. So I made a, a nice little profit from the sale of my townhouse. Uh, I think I made about 60 grand from that sale. And then I live with my parents. So um, as a lot of you know, I, I'm no stranger to hard work, right? I worked at the airport handling bags just so I could get free flights. I, I'm, I'm, I don't wanna say that I'm cheap, but I don't like paying full price for anything, including where I live. So. I moved in with my parents, stayed there for a year, then realized I didn't qualify for as much as I wanted to. Um, and I didn't have enough to buy a duplex in Nashville. So I was just lamenting to one of my, um, my, my realtor friends, one of my colleagues about how, I'm sorry, let me hold this this way. I'm trying to do this horizontal this time because I wanna put these on YouTube, not just Facebook and Instagram, right? I'm going to try to at some point have a channel. But at any rate, uh, she mentioned that, you know, why don't you try Clarksville? And I, like most of my clients that I talked to today, say, Clarksville, that's too far. I don't want to say in Clarksville, it's, you know, what's in Clarksville? I had never even been to Clarksville. So I took it upon myself to just come out one day, check it out, um, just drive around, look at the real estate. I looked up some houses, some duplexes. And the first thing I saw was a quadplex or a fourplex, four units. They were two bed, one and a half bath. And the building itself was only like three years old for $220,000. I was like, what? And at that time, I didn't even qualify for that. I think I qualified for like 160 and it had to be rented out <laughs> for me to even get the 160. So I had a very, very tiny budget, but I was able to find um, a duplex that I put an offering on and actually two of them I put an offering on both didn't get either one actually uh, was disappointed but then a couple weeks later the agent came back to me and said hey you know the buyer got cold feet do you want you still want this duplex so I said of course it was an all brick duplex on a corner lot now I knew that it needed some work but I had the money from the sale of my previous house that I could have put into it. So in the end, I think I got the seller to give me two brand new HVAC systems and I asked for no repairs, pay my own closing costs, closed on that, moved in. Wasn't, you know, wasn't my dream home, of course, right? It just was a two bed, one and a half bath, but I was willing to sacrifice because I was looking at the end game. I was looking at a long-term investment. I don't have a 401k, so I have to basically save up for my own retirement so this was something that I knew eventually could cash flow completely um, so I was able to sacrifice space for you know that investment and I got in at a really great price it was able to find me a great long-term tenant now the rents in Clarksville are not as high as they are in Nashville of course however this is a great city for rentals it's close to the base Fort Campbell so you have a lot of military and military tenants. In my experience, my first one was a military family. They were great. And during the pandemic, they kept paying their rent on time, right? So um, I've, I've been able to get another great set of tenants and now I'm 
diving into Airbnb. And also before I, uh, you know, sold, you know, well bought another house for myself to move into, I actually Airbnb my apartment that I lived in. I basically locked my room off because I don't do people sleeping in my bed, right? So I locked off my room, but left the rest of the house open for them and made money to cover all of my utilities using Airbnb, just running out my space. And then I would just go to Nashville and stay with my parents. So that was another strategy that I had to make some extra income without having another job, right? Airbnb is easy. You just got to know how to clean the house <laughs> and that's it and, and have maintenance people on call. But let me take you into this duplex that's out in Clarksville that was just listed. It's a two bed, one full bath on each side. It's been fully renovated and it's listed for $219. So I thought it was a good price. I was kind of looking at it for myself. So why don't you come inside, check it out with me. As you can see, the exterior is brick. Um, nice size yard here. It's been painted. It's got new floors, fresh paint throughout. Um, it's not the biggest, and I'm gonna have to go back and look at the square footage of this. But it's a start. Like if you just want to get in the game, two nineteen. I'm, that's not bad at all. Here's bedroom one. Got a ceiling fan. Looks like they have uh, new windows in here. It's good. Closet does not have a door to it. Easily fixable. That should be a HVAC system. Here is the full bath, functional. That's what I say, when it's small, I just say functional, right? Gets the job done. Do your business and you get out. Have the kitchen, new appliances, stainless steel. Only thing I'm curious about is this, uh, this washer and dryer hookup because I see where you put the dryer, but the washer, they have a cabinet here. I'm assuming you can just move this out of the way, maybe move it over here. Um, that's interesting, the placement of that. And what I do also like about this is the backyard is separated. So you have a fence going in between the two units. Condenser looks fairly new, probably has a new roof two roof looks pretty good so this is something you can move right into and uh, run out immediately so even if this is your second property if you don't want to live on one side and house hack you can consider airbnb and this out and if you want if you have questions about getting your permit just let me know because i just went through the process it was really, really easy. Clarksville is a totally different market than Nashville. Uh, and it's a good thing because in Nashville, there are so many restrictions. In Clarksville, there are practically none. I mean, there are, of course, code restrictions and things like that. Basic stuff you would need to do anywhere. But the process was very easy and inexpensive. So if you have questions about that, hit me up as well. I will be glad to answer. That's the second closet. So that's pretty much it, you guys. It looks like this place is probably about 900 square feet. I'm gonna just guesstimate. Not the biggest, like I said, but functional. If you wanna do Airbnb or rent out, I would say, and don't quote me on this. Let me flip this back around. All right, I am back. So I would say this place would get you about 650 a month, 650, 700 a month for each side. So that would be enough to cover the mortgage on the house is 220, depending on how much you put down. I mean, you could pay cash, you could put 10% down. You could even put, well, you have to live on one side to get the three and a half percent down. So uh, it just really depends on how you work the numbers, if you finance or if you pay cash. But at 650 a month, if you do finance it, it would probably cover your mortgage payment. And the thing is, even though it doesn't cash flow a lot, as long as it pays your payment um, and pay for your expenses monthly, then it's not bad because if you think about it, the bank, basically, other than your down payment, the bank financed it. They paid cash to the seller to get the property. But then again, your tenants, you by you collecting rent, 
your tenants are paying your mortgage down. So even if you hold this place for 30 years, if you hold it 15, your tenants are helping you to build equity each and every month. That's something you're not paying. So basically, you're, you've got this asset for free, and then you can still turn around and sell it after it's also appreciated in value, five, 10, 15 years, plus you pay down on the, the house as well. So you're gonna have a nice, nice little chunk of change when you sell. So for me personally, my goal is to pay any property that I have, whether it be a personal property or an investment property, have it paid off in 15 years, because that's my goal is to retire in about 15 years. So I can have all of that cash flow flowing into my account and I don't have to depend on social security, because to be honest, I don't have a 401k because I do real estate full time. And um, I have other ways and I'm still, still, kind of trying to find other business ventures I can get into to get me to that retirement even faster and have passive income. So I'm exploring my, all of my options right now, but I just want to tell anyone who's thinking about getting into real estate investing, you don't have to have a ton of money. You just need to have stable, stable income, have some savings for a down payment. It's not as hard as you would think to go ahead and purchase a home or even an investment property if you already own a home. One of my clients last year did that herself. And um, it's just, it's it's awesome to have that extra asset, that act, the extra insurance, knowing that, you know, you have a property, if, if everything hits the fan, you can at the very least sell that property and be okay, not have to file bankruptcy and for, go into foreclosure and things like that. So. Um, if you have any questions, just hit me up. I'd be glad to answer them. If you want to see this property, just let me know. I will come out here. Sorry, y'all. My hand is like mad tired. <laughs> I need to get the gym, right? Um, so I'm, I'm actually about to hit the trails. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I would be glad, glad, glad to come out here and show you this property. Um, 615-293-0596. Once again, is my number. Realtor Dion um, at Realtor.Dion on Instagram, DionHarris.com. And you're probably looking at my social media now, so just DM me. I'm an open book. I get a lot of people who ask me questions after these videos, and I love it because I want everyone to have the same opportunity that I have. There's enough out here for everybody, and I want to help you get it. So, y'all have a blessed rest of your Sunday, and I'll be chatting with you guys soon.